guys, it's Jen here and welcome to Jen's Wild About Art. So today I'm going to do a little group of emperor penguins um, just sitting on the beach minding their little babies and I thought I'd, I used a few different references off Pixabay and Unsplash to make up this piece and yeah, I had a lot of fun designing um, the positions of these guys. Um, so I'm now going in and just drawing the outlines and I'll erase a few bits here and there because I alter their positions till, till I get them where I want them. Um, yeah, and I just go around and do all their little outlines until I'm happy with the composition. So now I'm starting with the painting and I'm just wetting the whole background down with a clean brush, just wetting all of the paper. I'm using a hot press paper too. I like to do my watercolours on smooth paper. And now I'm dropping in cobalt blue onto the wet paper. So very diluted mix onto the wet paper and letting that run around and that'll just be a simple sky background. And then I go with a slightly thicker consistency of cobalt blue just at the top. And then I damp my brush and drag it down to the bottom so it's darker at the top fading to lighter colour at the bottom. And then for underneath I go with a stronger cobalt blue mix and sort of onto dry paper though a little bit uh, yeah a little bit thicker consistency. And onto the little chicks I mix up burnt umber and cobalt blue and I make it into a very washed out wet mix, very watery mix and I run that over the three chicks in all the areas that are going to be grey. And then I go over those with the same burnt umber cobalt blue mix to make the base layer of grey for their bodies. Now I add a thicker mix of burnt umber cobalt blue uh, to the adult penguins and I'll add it to the chicks as well and I'll start to build up the layers of shadows and the darker areas on all of the birds. So I'm adding another layer, even thicker again, of burnt umber cobalt blue. And this time I've added a little bit of Payne's grey to the mix, which is like a purpley blue grey colour, very dark and really lovely. And I'm adding that into the darkest dark areas. And now I'll go around all the penguins and add this um, just in different areas where it is at its darkest.
So I'm wetting down their bellies now and because they've got reflections off the ice and from the sky on their white bellies, I add just a little touch of blue for the reflections and the shadows. And blue works as a wonderful shadow colour, especially on, on a pure white. And now I start to add the little pops of colour of orange onto the, onto the Emperor Penguins because they've got uh, beautiful colours on their beaks and on their necks. So I'm adding that in now and I use um, a little bit of uh, red orange and onto the, uh, the beaks of the birds I add Sennelia orange which is like a ready orange, quite a strong red orange. And then I'll go over that after with just the red orange. Also for the eyes, I've added burnt umber and I'll add a little bit of Payne's grey just into the pupil areas. And now I'm going over the top of the birds again or all of the penguins again with a stronger mix of burnt umber and Payne's grey. And I'm taking that around the darkest area of all the penguins again. And I'm just building up the darker layers. Every layer I get a fraction darker in areas. So now I add a little bit of um, cobalt blue in a very watered down wash over the top of all the penguins. It just adds a bit of interest because it's reflecting off the ground and off the sky and off their beautiful black shiny feathers. So I add a little bit of blue around all the different birds. And then underneath into the shadows, I add a bit of ultramarine underneath all of the penguins. And I add a little bit of indigo into that as well. And it creates a nice little contrast in the shadows. And now I'm adding some almost pure Payne's grey just around the trim of the, the wings and onto the feet and the legs and taking that right around all of the birds and just darkening up their darkest areas. Now that the orange is dried on the penguins necks, I'm going over the top again with another coat of slightly stronger pigment, red orange, and that just strengthens up the color around their necks and onto their beaks. And then I darken up around their eyes and just add in the final darkest dark, starting to 
get close to the finishing point and I get my micron just to define the line around the beaks and around the eyes of the birds just to help me out a little just with the very darkest dark and now I get a little bit of white gouache I want to add just some sort of wet look onto the birds so I add a little bit of white gouache onto their wings and I add those light reflecting off the feathers on the backs of these birds off the ice and it's very quite white just little dots and it's just the tips of their feathers reflecting the light so I add that in with my white gouache and I'm just using like a pure pigment I'm not diluting it at all just pure pigment dipped brush dipped into it and then I add some blue to the little chick on the left and just define around their little beaks and their little eyes a little bit more and add just finishing touches again just the darkest darks onto the backs of the penguins and in the darkest areas so we're just about done guys I hope you've enjoyed this video I'd love it if you click like and subscribe and I'll have links to my social media below I also have a twitch channel where I stream painting my pieces live five days a week and I would love you to come along and have a chat while I work at my paintings um, yeah so thanks so much for watching guys I will see you all next video have an awesome day and I'll catch you then okie doke bye <laughs>